This is the best herb for joint pain. Natural and fast relief. Hello, don't forget to subscribe. Joint pain is a common affliction that affects millions of people worldwide. While many turn to conventional medications for relief, there is a growing interest in natural remedies that offer promising benefits without the risks associated with synthetic drugs. In recent years, herbs and medicinal plants have gained popularity for their potential to alleviate joint pain and inflammation. However, it's essential to approach these natural alternatives with caution, as they can also have side effects or interact with other medications. This chapter will explore the role of natural herbs in managing joint pain and shed light on surprising habits and medications that may worsen the condition. One of the most well-known herbs for reducing joint pain is turmeric. Rich in curcumin, a powerful anti-inflammatory compound, turmeric has been used in traditional medicine for centuries. Studies have shown that curcumin can help reduce swelling and stiffness in joints, making it a popular choice for individuals with arthritis. However, it's important to note that turmeric may not be suitable for everyone, especially those on blood-thinning medications. As with any herbal remedy, consulting a healthcare professional before incorporating turmeric into your routine is advised. In addition to turmeric, rosemary is another herb that has been found to provide relief from joint pain. Rosemary contains rosmarinic acid, which has been shown to reduce inflammation and improve blood circulation in affected areas. This not only helps alleviate pain, but also promotes the healing of damaged tissues. Rosemary can be consumed as a tea or applied topically as an essential oil to the painful joints. However, like turmeric, rosemary should be used with care, particularly for individuals with certain medical conditions such as epilepsy or high blood pressure. While herbs like turmeric and rosemary offer potential relief, it's equally important to be aware of common medications that may actually worsen joint pain. Statins, for instance, are commonly prescribed to lower cholesterol levels but can cause muscle and joint pain as a side effect. Patients taking statins often report experiencing stiffness and discomfort, which may be mistaken for arthritis. Recognizing this connection is crucial, as it could prevent unnecessary treatments or a misdiagnosis. If joint pain worsens after starting statins, discussing alternative options with a doctor is recommended. Another surprising factor that can aggravate joint pain is diet. Certain foods, particularly those containing gluten and dairy, have been linked to increased inflammation in sensitive individuals. For people with gluten intolerance or sensitivity, consuming gluten can lead to a flare-up of joint pain. Similarly, dairy products can trigger an inflammatory response in those with lactose intolerance or a dairy allergy. By identifying and eliminating these triggers from the diet, many individuals have reported significant improvements in their joint health and overall well-being. Finally, the importance of vitamin D for joint health cannot be overstated. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in maintaining bone and joint health, and a deficiency can lead to weakened bones and increased pain. Many people, especially those living in areas with limited sunlight, are at risk of vitamin D deficiency. Supplementing with vitamin D or increasing exposure to sunlight can improve joint strength and reduce discomfort. However, as with any supplement, it's essential to ensure that vitamin D levels are monitored and maintained within the recommended range to avoid potential complications. As we dive deeper into the world of natural remedies, it becomes clear that certain herbs offer remarkable potential for managing joint pain. These herbs, rooted in ancient medicinal practices, provide a natural alternative to pharmaceutical treatments. In this chapter, we will explore some of the most potent herbs including ginger, boswellia, and willow bark, each known for their anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties. While these herbs can offer relief, it is important to understand their mechanisms potential benefits, and the precautions one must take when incorporating them into a pain management regimen. Ginger, often associated with digestive benefits, is a powerful herb for reducing inflammation, making it highly effective in treating joint pain. Its active compound, gingerol, has been studied for its anti-inflammatory effects and is comparable to some over-the-counter pain relievers. For individuals suffering from osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis, Regular consumption of ginger in the form of tea, supplements, or even fresh in meals can help to reduce the stiffness and swelling that often accompanies joint issues. However, just like turmeric, ginger may not be suitable for everyone, especially those on blood-thinning medications or who suffer from certain digestive disorders. Therefore, consulting a healthcare provider is always recommended before beginning any new herbal treatment. Another potent herb in the fight against joint pain is boswellia 
also known as Indian frankincense. This herb has been used for centuries in traditional Ayurvedic medicine for its ability to reduce inflammation and improve mobility in people with arthritis. Boswellia contains compounds called boswellic acids, which inhibit enzymes that cause inflammation. Several studies have shown that boswellia can significantly reduce pain and improve joint function in individuals with osteoarthritis. It's often found in supplement form and can be combined with other anti-inflammatory herbs like turmeric for even greater effect. However, as with any natural remedy, dosage and potential interactions with other medications must be considered, as boswellia may affect blood clotting or interfere with liver function if not used correctly. Willow bark is another herb long recognized for its pain-relieving properties. Often referred to as nature's aspirin, willow bark contains salicin, a compound that works similarly to aspirin by reducing inflammation and pain in the body. Historically used to treat headaches, willow bark has also been found effective in reducing joint pain, particularly in individuals suffering from arthritis. While willow bark can be consumed as a tea or supplement, it is important to note that it may carry similar risks to aspirin, such as causing stomach irritation or increasing the risk of bleeding. Therefore, it is not recommended for people who are already taking blood thinners or who have sensitive stomachs. Alongside these powerful herbs, it's essential to understand the role of proper usage and dosage in maximizing their benefits while minimizing risks. For example, ginger, when used in excess, may cause heartburn or digestive discomfort. Similarly, boswellia should not be used in high doses over extended periods without medical supervision, as it can affect liver function. The key to success with natural remedies lies in balance. Using these herbs in moderation and as part of a holistic approach to health can yield significant results. Combining them with a healthy diet, regular exercise, and mindfulness can help improve overall joint health. It's also worth noting that while these herbs can provide relief, they should not be seen as a replacement for professional medical care. Joint pain, particularly when caused by conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or severe osteoarthritis, often requires a multifaceted approach that includes medical treatment, physical therapy, and lifestyle changes. Herbs like ginger, boswellia, and willow bark can serve as valuable tools in this comprehensive strategy, but should always be used with care and under guidance. While herbs and natural remedies hold great potential for relieving joint pain, there are several factors that can unknowingly aggravate the condition. Many people turn to prescription medications to manage various health issues, unaware that some of these drugs could be contributing to their joint discomfort. Furthermore, certain lifestyle habits, often considered harmless, may also be exacerbating joint pain. In this chapter, we will discuss some of the most common medications and habits that could be making joint pain worse, as well as practical steps to mitigate these effects. One of the most surprising contributors to joint pain is the use of statins. Statins are commonly prescribed to lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. However, a lesser-known side effect of statins is muscle and joint pain, which can be severe in some cases. Statins work by blocking an enzyme in the liver that helps produce cholesterol, but this process can also interfere with the production of other essential compounds, leading to muscle inflammation and pain. Individuals on statins who experience new or worsening joint pain should consult their doctors to discuss alternative treatments or dosage adjustments. It's important not to stop taking statins without medical advice, but awareness of this side effect can lead to better management of joint discomfort. Another class of medications that can contribute to joint pain is antibiotics, particularly fluoroquinolones. These antibiotics are often prescribed for infections like bronchitis or urinary tract infections, but they can cause serious side effects, including tendinitis and joint pain. Fluoroquinolones have been linked to an increased risk of tendon ruptures, particularly in the Achilles tendon, and prolonged use can lead to chronic joint discomfort. Patients who experience joint pain while on these medications should seek immediate medical advice. In many cases, switching to a different type of antibiotic can resolve the issue, without compromising treatment. Beyond medications, certain dietary habits can also exacerbate joint pain. Processed foods, refined sugars, and trans fats are known to increase inflammation in the body, which can worsen joint pain, especially in individuals with arthritis. In particular, foods high in omega-6 fatty acids, such as vegetable oils and processed snacks, can promote inflammation when consumed in excess. These dietary factors can contribute to a cycle of pain and stiffness, 
making it harder for individuals to find relief. By reducing the intake of these pro-inflammatory foods and increasing the consumption of anti-inflammatory options like omega-3 rich fish, nuts, and leafy greens, individuals may see a significant improvement in their joint health. Another surprising contributor to joint pain is dehydration. Joint cartilage relies on adequate hydration to maintain its shock-absorbing properties. When the body is dehydrated, the joints lose some of their lubrication, leading to increased friction and discomfort. This can be especially problematic for individuals with arthritis or other joint conditions, as the lack of hydration can exacerbate symptoms. Ensuring proper hydration throughout the day, especially during and after physical activity, is a simple yet effective way to protect joint health and reduce pain. Finally, sedentary lifestyles can significantly worsen joint pain. While it may seem counterintuitive, prolonged periods of inactivity can lead to stiffness, weakness, and increased pain in the joints. Regular movement helps to lubricate the joints and strengthen the muscles that support them. Conversely, sitting for long periods, whether at a desk in front of the television or during long commutes, can lead to decreased joint mobility and increased discomfort. Incorporating regular physical activity into daily routines, even in the form of gentle exercises like walking, swimming, or yoga, can make a substantial difference in alleviating joint pain. Diet plays a fundamental role in managing joint pain, particularly for individuals suffering from conditions like arthritis. Certain foods can help reduce inflammation and provide the nutrients needed to support joint health, while others may trigger or exacerbate pain. In this chapter, we will explore the connection between diet and joint health, focusing on specific foods and nutrients that can help alleviate joint pain and improve mobility. We will also examine how eliminating certain inflammatory foods from the diet can make a significant difference in joint comfort. One of the most important nutrients for joint health is omega-3 fatty acids. Found in fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, omega-3s are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. These healthy fats help reduce the production of inflammatory chemicals in the body, which can lead to decreased pain and stiffness in the joints. Omega-3 supplements such as fish oil can also be beneficial for individuals who do not consume enough fatty fish in their diet. Studies have shown that regular intake of omega-3 fatty acids can lead to significant improvements in joint mobility and pain relief, particularly in individuals with rheumatoid arthritis. In addition to omega-3s, antioxidants play a crucial role in maintaining joint health. Vitamin C and E, as well as selenium, are powerful antioxidants that help protect the joints from oxidative stress and inflammation. Citrus fruits, berries, nuts, and seeds are excellent sources of these nutrients and incorporating them into daily meals can provide a natural boost to joint health. Vitamin C, in particular, is essential for the production of collagen, a protein that is a key component of joint cartilage. By ensuring adequate intake of antioxidant-rich foods, individuals can support their body's ability to repair and protect joint tissues. Another important nutrient for joint health is vitamin D, known primarily for its role in bone health. Vitamin D is also crucial for maintaining the strength and function of joints. A deficiency in vitamin D can lead to weakened bones and increased pain in the joints. This is especially common in individuals who live in areas with limited sunlight or who spend most of their time indoors. Supplementing with vitamin D or increasing exposure to natural sunlight can help improve joint strength and reduce pain, particularly in individuals with conditions like osteoarthritis. However, it's important to ensure that vitamin D levels are regularly monitored, as excessive supplementation can lead to complications. Eliminating certain foods from the diet can also have a profound impact on joint pain. Gluten, for instance, has been linked to increased inflammation in individuals with sensitivities or intolerances. Many people with conditions like rheumatoid arthritis have reported improvements in their symptoms after adopting a gluten-free diet. Similarly, dairy products can trigger inflammation in some individuals, particularly those who are lactose intolerant or have a dairy allergy. By identifying and avoiding foods that trigger inflammation, individuals can significantly reduce joint pain and improve their quality of life. Finally, it's important to stay hydrated to maintain joint health. Cartilage, the tissue that cushions joints, is largely composed of water. When the body is dehydrated, cartilage loses its ability to absorb shock, leading to increased friction and pain in the joints. Drinking plenty of water throughout the day helps maintain the hydration needed for healthy joints. In addition to water, 
herbal teas and broths can also contribute to hydration and provide additional nutrients that support joint health. Physical activity plays an essential role in maintaining joint health and managing pain, particularly for individuals with conditions like arthritis. While it may seem counterintuitive, engaging in regular, gentle exercise can help alleviate stiffness, improve mobility, and reduce discomfort in the joints. In this chapter, we will explore the importance of exercise for joint health and discuss specific types of physical activity that are particularly beneficial for relieving joint pain. We will also address common concerns and misconceptions about exercising with joint pain, emphasizing the need for a balanced and mindful approach. One of the most significant benefits of exercise is its ability to strengthen the muscles surrounding the joints. Strong muscles provide better support to the joints, reducing the stress placed on them during movement. This is particularly important for weight-bearing joints such as the knees, hips, and lower back. Exercises that focus on strengthening the quadriceps, hamstrings and gluteal muscles can greatly improve joint stability and reduce the likelihood of injury. Simple resistance exercises such as squats, leg lifts, and using resistance bands can be performed at home or in a gym and are highly effective in building muscle strength around the joints. Another key benefit of exercise is its ability to improve joint flexibility and range of motion. Many people with joint pain experience stiffness that limits their ability to move freely. Stretching exercises and activities like yoga can help to gently increase flexibility, making it easier to perform daily tasks and reducing discomfort in the joints. Yoga, in particular, is highly regarded for its ability to improve both strength and flexibility without putting excessive strain on the joints. Poses that focus on balance and gentle stretching can be particularly beneficial for individuals with arthritis or other joint conditions. Low-impact aerobic exercises are also highly recommended for individuals dealing with joint pain. Activities such as swimming, cycling, and walking are excellent for maintaining cardiovascular health without placing undue stress on the joints. Swimming is especially beneficial because the buoyancy of the water supports the body's weight, reducing the impact on joints while allowing for a full range of motion. Regular low-impact aerobic exercise helps to increase blood flow to the joints, bringing vital nutrients and oxygen to the cartilage, which supports its repair and regeneration. For those who find high-impact exercises like running too painful, swimming or water aerobics offer an ideal alternative. Despite the clear benefits of exercise, many individuals with joint pain hesitate to engage in physical activity due to fear of exacerbating their condition. It's important to note that while overexertion or improper technique can indeed worsen joint pain, the right type of exercise done correctly can help relieve it. Consulting a physical therapist or a qualified trainer can help individuals develop a personalized exercise plan that targets their specific needs while minimizing the risk of injury. Starting with low-intensity exercises and gradually increasing the duration and intensity as the body adapts can help individuals build strength and endurance without overwhelming their joints. In addition to traditional exercises, incorporating movement into daily routines can also have a positive impact on joint health. Simple activities such as stretching after waking up, taking short walks during breaks at work, and using stairs instead of elevators can all contribute to maintaining joint mobility and reducing stiffness. Even small changes in daily habits, such as standing up and moving around every 30 minutes when sitting for long periods, can prevent joints from becoming too stiff and help maintain overall joint health. Managing joint pain effectively requires a holistic approach that goes beyond physical treatments and dietary changes. The mind-body connection plays a crucial role in how we experience pain and how well we manage it. In this chapter, we will explore the benefits of mindfulness, meditation, and stress management techniques in alleviating joint pain. These practices not only help reduce pain perception, but also improve overall mental well-being making it easier to cope with the challenges of living with chronic joint conditions. One of the most well-established holistic practices for pain management is mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness involves focusing on the present moment without judgment and can help individuals become more aware of their physical sensations, including pain. By practicing mindfulness, individuals can develop a more balanced response to their pain, reducing feelings of frustration or helplessness that often accompany chronic conditions like arthritis. Studies have shown that regular mindfulness practice can lead to a decrease in pain perception and an improvement in emotional well-being. 
This is particularly beneficial for individuals with joint pain, as it provides a non-invasive and natural way to manage discomfort. In addition to mindfulness, deep breathing exercises can also help alleviate joint pain by promoting relaxation and reducing tension in the body. When we experience pain, our bodies tend to react by tensing up, which can lead to increased discomfort and stiffness in the joints. Deep breathing techniques, such as diaphragmatic breathing, encourage relaxation by slowing down the heart rate and calming the nervous system. This helps to reduce the body's stress response, which can, in turn, decrease the intensity of pain experienced in the joints. Incorporating deep breathing exercises into a daily routine, particularly during moments of acute pain, can be an effective way to manage discomfort naturally. Stress management is another crucial aspect of holistic joint pain management. Chronic stress has been shown to exacerbate inflammation in the body, which can worsen joint pain. Prolonged stress also weakens the immune system, making it harder for the body to repair damaged joint tissues. By reducing stress through practices such as yoga, meditation, or simply spending time in nature, individuals can improve their overall health and reduce the inflammation that contributes to joint pain. Regular stress management practices not only benefit joint health, but also enhance mental clarity, mood, and overall quality of life. Incorporating gentle bodywork techniques, such as massage and acupuncture, can also complement a holistic approach to joint pain management. Massage therapy can help to alleviate muscle tension, improve circulation, and reduce inflammation in the joints. Regular massages can also promote relaxation and provide a mental break from the pain. Similarly, acupuncture, a practice rooted in traditional Chinese medicine, has been found to reduce joint pain by stimulating specific points on the body. Acupuncture is thought to improve energy flow and encourage the release of endorphins, the body's natural pain-relieving chemicals. Finally, it is important to acknowledge the emotional and psychological impact of chronic joint pain. Living with constant discomfort can take a toll on mental health, leading to feelings of frustration, anxiety, or depression. Acknowledging these emotions and seeking support, whether through therapy, support groups, or personal relationships, is an important step in managing the overall burden of joint pain. Mental and emotional well-being are closely tied to physical health, and taking care of the mind is just as important as taking care of the body when dealing with chronic pain. If you enjoyed this tips and want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And now you have a new video appearing on the screen, full of information. Click and get ready for another video.